All right, we're back with my partial anime collection as I'm going through the through the boxes <laughs> before I toss them out. But then I'm kind of thinking it's kind of like a tragedy because I didn't get like the other ones I already like tossed away, like the like like the Dragon Ball Z like movies, like Lord Slug and Triumph and World's Strongest. I think I had. I don't remember. But those and then like Stanley Complex Season One. <laughs> <laughs> some of this other stuff I like I know I have but I haven't seen like the cases of because obviously I already tossed it which I came to the conclusion of when I saw these in the, in the storage container and I was like well what, if I have these where's my other ones and I'm like oh wait I probably already tossed them out even though I thought I didn't but yeah we've got another uh another volume one I'm sorry I was looking at this case trying to see if there's like stuff inside it so I have to go through all these to like make sure there's nothing like you know important <laughs> before I get rid of it be another volume one plus nothing because it's for the entire season that you don't have yet because you haven't bought it but you will because you'll fall in love with the <laughs> the volumes that anime used to come out on <laughs> they no longer come out like this which is like the cool thing about like modern times but back in my back in my eh, it was like you know you had one volume with like three episodes on it and then you know pay like 15 bucks for like, each of them and yeah you were <laughs> you were getting What's that word called when uh, people... There's a word for that. <laughs> There's a lot of words for that, actually. So, yeah. I'm going to try to think of it while I do this video. But, um, yeah. Chrono Crusade is what this is. This is uh, Chrono Crusade, which you got this lady... Um, nun? I don't know if she's a nun, actually. But th she's in the... <laughs> with the church, and they hunt down demons. And it's a fun time. And... I... Uh, yeah, yeah. I haven't seen the whole thing. I've seen like the first volume, obviously. But that is that. So I can't really talk too much in a, too much in a, in a detail about what goes on in Chrono Crusade. So oh, also, when he's not in demon form, he's like not as uh, menacing looking. Because like right here, he's not in demon form. But then on the uh, the cover of the DVD, he is in demon form. So yeah. All right, that is that one, and then uh, okay, I'm gonna do Dragon Ball Z, and then I'm gonna go over the one that like some I just picked up. But basically, I've got Dragon Ball Z the entire season on DVD, so I still have these orange ones. <laughs> and then like it's it's so funny because like now it's out on Blu-ray, and they have like the even um the even more like. I don't. I, well, I've never seen Dragon Ball Z Kai, so I'm not even sure like how it's different. But supposedly they like streamlined it or something towards less filler. So I've never seen it, but I I don't know how it's different. But it's probably still good because Dragon Ball Z man, da Dragon F Ball Z. Yeah, actually, some of these are still in stream grab because I haven't opened it. I haven't I haven't rewatched it. <laughs> I just have it because it's like you know it's F and Dragon Ball Z. It's my favorite, so I had to buy it. So these are just sitting here. <laughs> most of the, yeah, most of these are just sitting here. Cause in my, I've I've like yeah, like back in the day in middle school, dude, like when I or middle school through high school, it's like when I, like we've watched that every day. Like even if it was like not a new episode, like I've seen it on reruns like so many times. It's like it's all in my brain. Like I don't need to like watch it ever again. But if I ever want to, it's like you know, ah, Piccolo. Piccolo is always my favorite. Piccolo, Vegeta, Goku, Gohan. Oh, well, Gohan. Gohan. Like child Gohan was like so annoying. But, like, that's the weird thing, is, like, Gohan never got cool. It's, like, like as a kid, he was lame. As an adult, he was lame. Great Saiyan man. And then, like, as an adult, after that, he was lame. And it's, like, wow, Gohan, you're lame. And then, <laughs> and then like, he has, like, one shining moment when he, like, when he, like, beats Cell at the World Games. And, like, that's it. And, like, he never, like, you know. It's, like, he never peeks, peeks over that. It's, like, that's his high point, And then, eh, back to sucking. It's, like, yeah. Whereas Trunks, it's like, oh, well, actually, that's a funny thing. Is like, you never see, you never see like kid Trunks go up to be like cool adolescent time travel Trunks in the the main timeline. <laughs> you see like future Trunks come in and then like be awesome, but you never see like kid Trunks grow up into be cool Trunks. It's just um, uh, Goten, <laughs> him and Go, man, <laughs> him and uh, Goten, man, just <laughs> Trunks and Goten, and then like they fuse into Go Tanks. And that was, yeah, I guess another thing you don't get to see is, like, Goten grow up. Like, I guess that'd be, like, I mean, but they do have, like, what, Super Dragon Ball or whatever? So, if you, like, like, if it'd be nice to see, like, the kids that, like, were in, I mean, there's GT, but I've never, that's a, that's a very funny thing about Dragon Ball Z. It's, like, I've seen Dragon Ball Z, like, the whole way through, but I've never seen uh, the original Dragon Ball or Dragon Ball GT. Like, I've seen parts of it, but not the whole thing. 
because it was just it was just like yeah one of those things I just didn't, didn't get around to watching so maybe someday and I haven't seen all the movies either so <laughs> not that you need to I've, 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 I haven't even seen like the good ones that people like like I haven't seen Cooler's Revenge I haven't seen the one with the androids when they come back I, well, okay that's not true I've seen some of them like you know Battle of Gods uh Lord Slug Tree of Might Dead Zone like all the the ones they showed on Toonami <laughs> obviously well, I, well okay I didn't see like all of them obviously because I only saw those ones because I think they showed the other ones later on Toonami I just didn't see them for whatever reason um some other one Oh, the uh, History of Trunks, seen that one, and then Bardock's, whatever, whatever, story of Bardock's, History of, history, whatever, <laughs> Goku's dad, that one, <laughs> is his name Bardock? I, I'm forgetting these things, oh, I'm, I'm not, a, not a true Dragon Ball Z fan, huh, whatever, um, alright, yeah, Dragon Ball Z, still, still the best, to me, I just, like, I can, I can watch that, like, anytime, any day, it's just, it's, it's a fun time. And then there's this, uh, this is like a book, but it came with a disc. It's like the Ghost in the Shell. I probably should have showed this like when I was going over the Ghost in the Shell stuff, but like Ghost in the Shell Stanley Complex official log. And there's like a disc in here that has like, you know, 90 minutes of, uh, yeah, it's like a 90 minutes thingy, like behind the scenes or something. But, uh, I think there's a, is a book. Yes, yeah, it's a book, but it came with, it comes with a disc. The, the, the disc, I, I have the disc somewhere. It's just, it's in like one of the, the, uh, disc binder thingies right now, so it's not actually, not actually, uh, in here. I haven't watched it in a while, so I'm not sure what's on it. I think it's just behind the scenes stuff for, like, production and how it was made. I'm not sure. It's been a while since I've seen it. But, uh, basically I have, like, one more set of, uh, anime, which is, like, this is the stuff I've, like, just bought. Like, I, I just recently picked all this stuff up because I was watching some of it with my friend. Or I watched some. Like, well, I watched a couple things with my friends. I was like, man, there's some, there's some stuff I want to like go back and see, or stuff I don't have that I should have that I should watch again. <laughs> Cause I, yeah, but anyway, we'll get to it. So yeah, um, yeah, this is this is Trigun. This is I saw this on Adult Swim. I also watched a couple episodes with with my uh, friend back in the day because his brother had it, and we watched it. But um, I remember like not liking it on. For some like I remember like when I when I saw it the first time I liked it like back like way back when as a kid or not a kid but it's like I was watching it with my best friend and I liked it but then I saw it again on Adult Swim and I was like eh not so good so I want to like rewatch it just to, like have a <laughs> a final verdict <laughs> on how I feel about Trigun it's like there are like it's like to me it's like it's it's like it's not a bad anime it's just it doesn't it doesn't speak to me on the, like you know like other stuff I've seen. I, I yeah, this is like a pretty good cool packaging. It looks like a like a movie poster. So there's like good stuff about it. There's like cool stuff about it. Like you have, you know, the gato and the and the bad guys and all the villains are cool. Bash is his character design is like costumes cool, but I think that's the thing, is like the tone of it and like the way it like is presented visually, it just doesn't match up. And there's just like parts in it where it's just like this doesn't like the pacing is like off. It doesn't seem, you know, to really ever pick up until like towards the end. But then it does. But then there's flashbacks, and it's like, well, if he's your brother, why is he doing this? And it's like, well, it's like, you know, it doesn't. It, I guess it's like it's probably like not the anime's fault since it's like adapted from the manga. It's probably like better in the manga because it goes into details as far as like why why things are the way they are. But in the anime, it never really answers those, those questions, which probably was probably what bugged me as far as like you know. <laughs> you blew up that city, which you did, but you did it to, whatever, it's, it's whatever. <laughs> I'm at peace with, with, with I'm, I'm, I'm at peace with Trigun, which is why I bought it, so I'm going to watch it again, see if I feel any differently. And I also picked up the, uh, Badlands Rumble, which is, uh, the movie that came out, when did this come out? Do, 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 do. Not sure. I'm trying to look for, like, a, a copyright date on this, but I'm not seeing anything. Anyway, this one came out a couple years ago, and I wanted to see it, but I just, I just never got around to it, so I picked that up too because I was like, well, if anything, it might be good, so we'll see. And it was like made recently, so yeah, it wasn't just like, oh, they're finally getting around to releasing it here. It's like, no, they actually just like made it. <laughs> so it has like modern sensibilities. I imagine it's probably pretty good. Uh, and then the last two things I picked up were Black Lagoon, which is like back in the day when I'd like watch 
anime DVDs and they'd be like trailers and previews and stuff. Like I would always want to like watch and see this one, but like I never got around to it. And then like, you know, it's on Adult Swim now. And then I don't know. I just I just like need somewhere like to start as far as like going back to watch the stuff I want to watch and then like re watching through it. Cause like there's this one, there's Planeteus, the one like with the astronauts. I really want to see that one. There's Gurren Login, um, Code Geass or whatever Geass, however you pronounce that. Those two I want to see. Um, cause I haven't seen those before. That people always talk about. They're like, oh, really good. So there's like, there's a bunch of stuff I want to see. And then, um, but yeah, I'm not gonna, I'm, I'm getting ahead of myself. <laughs> and then the uh, Black Lagoon movie, cause I was like, well, if it's in, it's a moving form, literally that movie form. Let me go ahead and pick up the movie to uh, go with the series, since I just, you know, it's whatever. So yeah, that's kind of the plan now. I was like, now that I've See, it's like next year there's gonna be like so many video games, so it's like before the end of the year I wanna like pick up a couple of anime that I haven't seen before. But then the time issue is always the time issue. So I have no idea when the F <laughs> I'm gonna have time to watch all this stuff. It's like it's there. Just like I mean just like I have still have like anime I haven't seen that I have that I own. It's like, well, whenever I get around to seeing it, but who knows when that is. But yeah, that's not like that's just like a okay, this is like the end of like my anime, because that's that's like the rest of this is like domestic stuff I'll go through and that that'll be that, but that's only like a partial like collection. I still have like other stuff I have, like Princess Monoke, I really love that one. I have that one. Um Origins, Spirits of the Forest, that one's really good. Vexil. Um, whatever. I'll I guess I'll do like a video after this one to be like, okay, this is the rest of my collection as I like scroll through the pages of my binder of discs. <laughs> Because why not, right? And like then, yeah. I'll ask for yeah. I'll do, okay. Don't put recommendations in this video. Put recommendations in the next video, part eight or whatever. Because then I'll just like go through all the ones I have that I didn't cover, and I'm not gonna like talk about them in depth at all. As far as like, oh, this one's about this, and this is what happens. I'll just you know go through with the list, and then if there's anything that's like, oh, you should check out this, Chris, take it, take, go ahead and tell me. Um. Yeah, for the rest of this video, we're going to be talking about domestic animation or animation from U.S. Uh, people that make or American, United States, whatever you want to call us, <laughs> make animation. But yeah, I found my other two copies of Transformers the movie, so I have this um, <laughs> special edition on DVD, the special collector's edition, ooh, and then um, this is the VHS version of that same copy that probably came out before it or something, I don't know, but it's on VHS and if you don't know what VHS is, is these are tapes and they're, they're this is what they look like <laughs> you put them in a VCR and you play them and they're not digital at all they're completely analog because they have film as you can see and yeah it's kind of like a cassette tape but in video form if you don't know what that is I can get, go and get one real quick but I'll just save it for the next video because it'll be a treat you'll be like oh I gotta find out what a, what a cassette tape is what, what's he talking about but yeah, that's that's what that is. Okay, I don't know how, how I got this out of here. I don't want to put it in the wrong way. Whatever. Um, wow. The insert on this. It has <laughs> Transformers the movie and J.I. Joe the movie. That's crazy. I actually have J.I. Joe the movie on a VHS somewhere, but it's not like... It's not an actual copy copy. It's like a, you know, recorded off-TV copy that my mom made, I think. I'm going to guess my mom made it, because... <laughs> I don't think anybody else would have made it. Um. Uh. Okay. Wow. I completely like just got sidetracked of that. Like thinking about like '80s animation. Sorry. We're back on track here. So I'm not gonna really go into detail on any of these. I'm just like just show them. Cause like I said, this is just like par partial anyway. So there's probably like more in the next video. But this is a uh, Batman the Animated Series. And this is still in the string wrap, this is like volume 3. I never picked up like the rest of these, but I'm super upset because they're super expensive on Amazon and it's like, ah, oh, this is like the best one, dude. Like if you're a Batman fan, like this, this, this is like to me, like one of the best adaptations of the mythos of the character ever. Like, like pe people say things about like the 90s animated series, they are not lying. It is amazing. It is like the best. It is the fantasticness. It is, oh, mm. it's so good. It's so good. It's just, man, it's like, yeah. Yeah, it's it's so good. It's so good. Ah, I'm glad I'm almost done, dude. This took like a long time to do today. <laughs> Hours. 
Uh, Dungeons and Dragons: The Animated Series Beginnings. I've not seen this, and I haven't opened it, so I I mean to get around to it. It was on my Amazon wish list for like a long time, and then she's like, you know what? I'm gonna buy it one day, and I did. So, or I saw it in the store where I work. I can't remember which one happened first, but there's no price tag on here, so I imagine it was probably Amazon. Yeah, probably Amazon. Uh, Astonishing X Men. This is really good. This is man. This is. If you like motion comics, this is really good. This is the uh, DVD copy. I actually bought it on Blu-ray as well. <laughs> I didn't know they're the same thing. Actually, this I think no, no, no. This is like just gifted. The other one I have is like the whole thing, but it's it's it, if yeah, motion comic is basically a comic book presented in like a panel by panel presentation, but it doesn't. It's not really like fully animated. It's mostly just like scrolling through the screen and like adding voiceover and a bit of animation, but it's not. 100% animation or like a complete adaptation of something animated like I would say Batman year one the DC version is like an example of like something that's like an animated movie but like these are motion comics and they're just like you know not those this is Inhumans by the way so so I picked up you know the Astonishing X-Men one the Inhumans one I think what happened was I saw one on Netflix and it was like really good and I was like wow I really like these but then they don't really like make them anymore, so <laughs> I can never find any motion comics like now. But I liked them. Apparently, they're not very popular, but I liked them. Whatever. Uh, Boondock season one. <laughs> I was I was never really like a Boondocks fan. I mean, it's okay, but it's not like you know, it's not like one of my favorites. But my my mom got this for me, so like the animation is good. <laughs> it's it's well, it's 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 an, it's an interesting it's an interesting series because of the uh, subject matter and stuff. So, I do appreciate the animation of it though. I, I respect that. It's, it's really, it's like good, got good modern animation. Oh, here's the other astonishing next one I have. This is like the Blu ray. <laughs> but this actually has like all of it on it because it's on a Blu ray, so it can like have all the have all the stuff. So it's got all the arcs that are, that are in the uh, motion comic one that's available. It's really good. I thoroughly enjoy it, obviously, because I bought it more than once, right? <laughs> all right, and then this is another one of my favorites from back in the day. The uh, 90s X-Men, yeah, this is to me like the pinnacle of like Marvel animation. Like they have not made anything, in my opinion, as good as this. Okay, that being said, I haven't seen like some of the stuff. I haven't seen like their X-Men anime or their other anime that they made, but like I haven't seen anything this good. Okay, I just, I just, I just, I just became a hypocrite. I just, I just, I just countered myself actually, because because the that's the astonishing X-Men is I, I would say is probably better than this. Or as good as good or better it's definitely not better like unquestionably better <laughs> it's as good for sure but like the astonishing x-men is pretty good too but i'm a huge x-men x-men fan and like this is why because 90s <laughs> x-men is the best x-men i don't care what anybody says this is like this is what indoctrinated me into like being a fan of like the x-men and mutants it's just so good man just ah cyclops cyclops i love you and just man it was funny, like, rewatching it. Like, as a kid, I never liked Wolverine. Like, he wasn't... Or he, okay, I didn't, like, dislike him, but, like, he wasn't my favorite. But everybody else, like, like, he was, like, theirs, he was their favorite. But, like, I was, like, my favorite was Cyclops. And then, like, rewatching it, it was funny because, like, you know, I can see why people <laughs> would gravitate towards him because he has, like, you know, sweet like, one-liners, like, the best power set. And, you know, <laughs> yeah, he was, like, yeah, it's, like, obviously. Gets in, like, the fights all the time, but it just, it's just not me. Uh, yeah, <laughs> volume two. The Dark Phoenix, ooh, yeah. Or rather, Dark Phoenix Saga. Actually, this has like Phoenix Saga and Dark Phoenix Saga on it. Or, oh, wait, wait, this is this is the Phoenix Saga, but then that's like the Dark Phoenix outfit, that's weird. Anyway, Volume 3. These were, man. These were magical times to be in, because, man. Saturday morning cartoons do not. Well, I haven't seen any in like a while, but I would say they probably don't compare to these. These were like golden year awesome times. Just like that Batman animated series, man. Volume 4. Wolverine and Sabretooth, classic. Classic rivalry. I buy these at work, apparently. <laughs> That's funny. And then, uh, Volume 5. Do 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 do. I love, I love X Men. Nice cartoon. It's one of my. It's like that. It's probably like a close second to Transformers Generation One. It is just so good. Ugh. All right, and then like more modern stuff. Apparently, uh, Batman, 
Well, hold up. This is got like a weird sticker on the front. Son of Batman. So this is like Damien. But I was like, not. Yeah, like when I came back to comics and like Damien apparently got like killed <laughs> shortly before, I did not have a chance to familiarize myself with that character. And I was like, oh. But then like, I also read about him. I was like, whoa, this is kind of cool. Like, he was Taya Al Ghul's son between or between Taya and Batman, Bruce Wayne. So he's like raised by the League of Assassins since he was born. So he like knows how to like fight and kill stuff, and that's pretty cool. Uh, I have not seen this. <laughs> I w I watched part of it, but then I like, fell asleep. <laughs> I am in Rise of Technovore, and then like according to the Netflix reviews, it's not that great. So I kind of regret buying this, but it wasn't that. I don't think it was like that that much fun about it. So I'm past twenty minutes, but I'm almost done. So just give me you know just a bit more time, and we'll be we'll be on to the next part where we get to talk about a cassette tape. Wait, what was I doing on the next part? I don't even remember. I don't rewatch this now. But, uh, yeah, Dark Knight, Dark Knight Returns. And that was really good. And it, <laughs> it's, it, it's funny, because, like, DC does such, like, such a good job to me of, like, adapting their comics as far as, like, the Dark Knight Returns and, like, stuff like this. That, like, you don't really need to, like, read the comic. You can just, like, watch these. Like, Batman Year One? Oh my gosh, that is, like... To this day, I was like, man, that is like one of the best Batman stories ever after I saw that. Because I was like, I have not, I didn't even hear that. I like, I didn't even heard of Batman Year One before that. And like, after I saw it, I was like, that was amazing. Jim Gordon, you're, you're an amazing character. <laughs> and that was an amazing story about you. Oh, this is another one of my favorites. Oh, man. Reboot. This is like definitely ripe for the reimagining or something, or just continuation in like the modern times. Just like, uh, like imagine, like, you know. Could, like do something with like you know reboot or like mainframe but like took it into like the next level like on a smartphone or something and like someone's like running apps and it's like you know whatever it just there's so many so many things you could be you'd be doing this with this right now whoever owns this property like just ah make it happen so good <laughs> okay thundercat season one volume one i don't have like the rest of it but i need to pick it up so you know it's kind of it's kind of like it's kind of like you know I I won't say essential, but necessary. Can't have Thundercats or Transformers without Thundercats. We can, but like you know, Thundercats. I was always a Transformers man, and like you know, whatever. I'm not gonna go into it. Whatever, Thundercats. Yeah. <laughs> I don't remember it as much because I was like too young, but yeah. Apparently, Thundercats. Yeah. And then, like these are like two of my most recent ones. So we've got Inside Out, which everybody. Which is amazing, or, yeah, well, there's nothing really to say there. It's, it's, it's great. I enjoyed it. Pixar can really do no wrong until they make a bad movie, but that's, like, never gonna happen, so. <laughs> like I said, they can do no wrong. It's great. And then we've got, uh, Zootopia, so. This was, this was really good. Like, I, I got this not knowing what it was, or not, you know, knowing what to expect, just hearing good things about it. And it blew me away. So that is that for my partial anime collection. So, you know. Oh, that's what the next video is about. So part one, two, three, four, five, six, part eight. Next video, last video, I'm just gonna like, just be turning the pages and then show that cassette tape at the beginning. And then if you see something I don't have that I should have, or rather if you don't see anything I have and you're like, oh, you should get this or check this out. Leave it in the recommendations in the comments in the next video, because that's what I'm going to go through, like, the rest of it that I haven't gone through in this video. That's going to be next in the playlist after this.